There is a new version of the Draggy device out now. It is called the Draggy 2.0 or the DRG70. At first glance, this may seem like a minor update. However, the new version of the GPS device is much more precise than the previous version. I tested the previous version, DRG69, versus the new DRG70 version on the same runs yesterday. In every single run I did, the new version measured within three hundredths of a second of the previous model. However, the most interesting thing is that in every single run, the new dragging measured the same time or faster time than the old version did. Now, we're only talking about a few hundredths of a second, but I never registered a slower time with the new version. Also, the graph of acceleration was always a smoother line. These two things are an indication that the newer version is more precise and even possibly more accurate. The biggest difference between the two devices is that the slope varied a lot between most of the measurements that were captured. Sometimes the slope was lower with the new device, but it was also higher in some cases too. I won't know which one is more accurate until I can test it on a track that has been measured for decline. My hope is that the new version will produce far fewer invalid runs at the track. The Draggy is still the single best way to measure acceleration if you don't have a time track to test at. Even at the track, the Draggy offers a great backup option to the track's timing system. In addition, the Draggy app is a great way to compare your times with other cars around the world. While the new version was within a few hundredths of a second of the old version, I would still recommend getting the new version if you were going for records or if a few hundredths of a second would matter to you. In my testing, I never saw the new Draggy 2.0 measure a slower time than the old one. I have had plenty of instances where one one hundredth of a second would have made all the difference in my placement on the Draggy leaderboard.